Yo, they guys, what is up? Loot Games, and today I'm playing Terraria Xbox One Edition Part 75. Now, last time we went around the world, we purified a bit, and now it is daytime in our wonderful world of wonderful epic adventure. Today we're going to be going on an adventure to find some plant terrors again, like always. But first, I've got some shoutouts to give. So, from the last episode, we have Epic Gamer Lol X, Red Toad Blue, Pokey Bros, Shush Shush, Harry Willis, All Round One, and Hydro Fish 21. So, thank you so much, guys, for staying active on my channel and being a part of the community we're in. If you want to be on this wall, all you have to do is stay, stay active. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to like. You don't have to subscribe. But um, obviously, commenting knows that you're active. Liking sort of adds to it as well. But that's not really a big part of it. It's more just being a part of the community, really. But anyway, today, we're going to jump straight into it and hopefully do a few things. The first thing I wanted to do was go and grab some wood. Now, I did put some wood up here. Hopefully, it's still there. I'm not sure if it's still there or not. But I'm going to be moving all my stuff out of my chest very, very shortly. And I'm going to be organising it into um, columns. I'm going to have different rooms. And I'm going to start over the left side, I think. And uh, when I start over the left side, I'm going to do some buildings. And then once I've got some buildings, uh, I'll have some sort of structure to build on it. And to put chests down. And then put different items in that place. Then I'm going to paint the chests red. Thank you for Jason for suggesting that. Uh, red, blue, green, whatever colour. I'll paint them according to the item. So like red I might do weapons. Green I might do defence. Uh, blue I could do equipables or something like that. And it'd be really cool uh, to see something like that I reckon in the world. And I think that it'll be really fun to do. So... That's what I've come up with. Now, I know I've, I've got my chest room down here, which I did say I wanted to sort everything down here. But to make it easy, because I've got chests everywhere, uh, I'm going to take them all and put them in separate rooms. And I'll probably end up having this as, like, a weapon room or something. Maybe, or, I don't know, I'll have it for something. Maybe where I just come and trash all my stuff. And then when I sort it out, put it in the specific chest. Because then I can have people come on, pull the stuff from that chest in another chest. Say, while I'm doing an episode or something, I can have a helper, and I can have that helper get all the stuff from that chest and put them into the uh, according chest to the items. Now, it'd only be, like, people that I trust to do that just in case, because you never know nowadays, you never know, even some of my friends might troll me and steal some of the weapons. So I don't want that happening, because these are all first owner items here. There was one person who called me a hacker because of all these chests but if you've been watching this episode since episode about 40 something you'll know that i went into the dungeon and there was this chest with one block missing now the block would duplicate in a ton of chests i wasn't doing anything to it literally um i just used a hammer next to it and it a bunch of chests just exploded out of it and it would not stop and uh they're the chests that i used i just use them for chests because chests unless you sell them are no benefit or no personal gain but i have been in enough worlds to literally get Enough of those chests anyway, but uh, the keys, well, probably, yeah, but I've not got that many key molds, obviously, but I could have legitimately got them all, but now if I did have that many key molds, I've got, about, I've had about seven ice key molds altogether, but that's the story of those, and if there's anything else in the world, I can explain it easily, it's on other episodes, so feel free to watch the other episodes, uh, everyone always asks what armor I use, I use turtle, and the reason I use this is because of the set bonus, if you look on the right hand side, attackers also take full damage, so that means when they attack you, uh, they take the damage that they deal. So if they deal 100 damage, they'll take 100 damage as well. Plus with the Master Ninja gear, I have a chance to dodge attacks. So when I dodge an attack, they still take the damage. So if they deal 100 damage, I'll dodge the attack. And then they'll take the 100 damage. Plus with the turtle, it uh, does every time they hit you. So with the one second delay, it will hit you, then hit you again. And this lasts about 2 or 3 seconds when you dodge an attack. So you can actually land two more attacks on the enemy before they can even hit you with their attack so it's really good when fighting multiple bosses at a time or it's really good when you're just fighting bosses in general so that's um, my equipables i do use the frostbar boots which i've had for ages they're lucky gives me increased movement speed and strike chance that's mainly for my sword because i like to get the uh high strike chance on the Heads that go around the pumpkin heads. There's also menacing master ninja gear, which um, is me menacing. It gives me plus four damage, and that's mainly for my weapons. Give it a little bit of a boost, you know, because when using things like the horseman's blade, four percent is a lot of damage, and obviously it gives you the chance to dodge attacks, and I can climb walls like this. So uh, people always ask how I dodge as well. That's the uh, reason I uh, is 
double tapping the left and left thumbstick or tapping it right or left, whichever way you want it corresponding to. I also use the Celestial Stone, which gives me um, increased damage, melee speed, you know, all that stuff. And um, an Ank Shield as well, which grants immunity to knockback, uh, fire blocks, immunity to most buffs like Confusion and all that. So I'm pretty much covered for all those. And then obviously the Warding Fish on Wings. Now there is a problem with these, uh, how they fly a bit slower. Because they're supposed to fly a lot faster than they do. But currently, uh, the update we're in, they're not fixed. They need to be fixed in the next update. And I apologise that my uh, voice sounds a bit dodgy because my throat is a little bit sore. So I apologise for that. I don't know, it just always seems to be sore lately. I guess it's because of the weather. A lot of the weather changes. And we're going to talk to our fishing dude. Where are you, Angler? Come on. There you are, always chilling down here with Captain Stony Dirt Beard, whatever your name is. Red Beard now. Okay, Mr. Died. I did have one called Captain Stony Dirt at one point. There's a piece of fish hunger that morph from the wall of flesh. Well, it sounds like I need to be in the underworld for that, but maybe I can go near the underworld and that will work. Because a lot of people always tell me that if I go near the underworld, that will work great just as if I was in the underworld. So as long as it's got the underworld backgrounds and it's got water, there's a high chance of getting it. So I'm just going to fall down my massive hole that I made ages ago. Yes, this is a half jungle, half mushroom biome. I don't know why it's jungle, actually. Um, That shouldn't be jungle. Did, did I do something with the Clementator? I must have done something with the Clementator. Because <laughs> that's not supposed to be like that. Um, Okay. I've got jungle down there. Yeah, that was when I was purifying the world, wasn't it? I must have... um. All of the corruption turned into normal, but where it was all a uh, mushroom, it turned into jungle. No, that might affect my spawning of my... Oh, no. It might affect my spawning of planteras. Because that can actually have an effect on it. Oh, the hole's down here. Don't know why, but when I look on the map, I always think I have to go so much further than I do. The hole should be just be directly down here, because I remember making this really early on in the game. Looks like a spider's web's made it way, its way down here as well. Don't know where that's come from, because I'm pretty sure that weren't there before. If I use a sword, I'll get down here a lot faster. But the black recluses don't drop the uh, tooths or whatever they drop. I think it's... Don't know what it is. Is, is it fangs? The spider fangs? They don't drop those yet. Uh, currently, we can't do any of the summoner stuff, because I do want to do a summoner playthrough. It'll make it a lot more funner, I think, for me to play. Because at the minute, it's, it's sort of like um, a constraint of knowing what to... Doing these episodes, and I know what I want to do, but I just don't know if it's going to be as fun as what I do. If that makes sense. Oh, I, I would make it as fun as I could. Right, I don't think there is any water down here, so we're going to have to make our own biome. Unless we can just find a magical patch of water down here. But I believe that uh, we could find it around here. Look at this. Voodoo demon. Pfft. What's he doing down here? Red Devil, we still have a chance to get a, a Demon Scythe off those. Really? Oh. Do you know... Do you know... Do you, guys, do you realise how long I've been looking for the Fire Feather? Like, honestly. I've been looking for the Fire Feather for... What, I think it was since episode 20 I said I wanted the Flame Wings. And I've never had the chance to get them. Until now. And... Oh, well, <laughs> well, that was a really big surprise. That was a massive surprise for me. Oh, wow. Now we've got to find some souls of uh, sight then. No, souls of flight, sorry. I know, I know we've got some around here somewhere. Is that souls of might? We don't want souls of might, we want souls of flight. Which I might have some souls up here because I know I've got a bunch of souls up here anyway. There we go. Uh, souls of Flight. Let's go make these wings then. I think you do need some of the souls as well. I'm not too sure. Might just be Souls of Flight. Let's take a look. Okay, it's not letting me... Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. We can actually make the flame wings now. Wow. Look at those beautiful things. Absolute beautiful specimens. Oh my god, I've been waiting so long to get these wings. These are like one of my favorite wings. Even though they're not the best, they're one of my favorite wings. Just because of the, you know the like, uh, animation on them? How all the sparks of fire come off? And then when you uh, do your wings out, the fire comes off it as well. And it has a really nice animation like bones. 
but it's also flames. It's like bones on fire, which is really cool. And these have been my favorite wings for like forever. I was not expecting to get those today, guys. That's actually really, really surprised me. And it's really made me happy because that's something that I've been searching for for... I don't even know how long. I don't even want to imagine how long I've been searching for that for. It's been a long, long, long time, though. It really has. And that's, that's, that's just shocked me. Wow. Do you still need the um, same quest? Because I, if we can get a different quest, that'd be amazing. Because I don't think I can really do this one very well. Yeah, he does still want the quest. So let's, um, instead of doing that, there is something else I want to do when I can find my sawmill. There it is. Okay, cool. I need to make some of these. Yes, yeah, some of the mannequins. We don't want woman quins. Woman quins. We want mannequins. So we're going to make, I don't know, 20 of... Really? We can only make 12? What? 20 wood a piece. Really? Wow. Did not expect to spend that much wood on each of those. <laughs> that has really shocked me. Okay, I've got a bunch more wood here. I do need to make about 20 of them, though. And I had so many... That's why I needed to collect so many wood before. I remember now. All right, cool. Let's uh, make eight more of these, then. We have 299 wood left. That's good. Now we need to make some platforms. Okay, cool. We should have enough platforms there. All we need to do... No, wait. We need double, so if we've got 20, we need 40. So let's make a couple more. Okay, cool. I can make them anywhere, so I don't know why I'm going back to make platforms, but I can make them anywhere. It's just weird. I don't know why I did that. Right, I'm going to start moving all the armors to here soon. Very, very shortly. So let's um, fill this in now. This will actually look really nice, I reckon. Don't know where to start from, though. Should I start from here? Hmm, yeah, let's start from there. Okay, let's go. So one, two, one, two. Oh, no, messed that one already. Uh, one, two, and then it's 20. So three, four, five. And they need to, and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the mannequins just above them. So one, no, should I make them facing the other way? Because that'll look pretty cool, won't it? To have them, like, facing the other way. Yeah, that'll look a bit edgy, won't it? Yeah, that'll look good. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to place them above. One, two. That's another two. It's going to look beautiful. Once I've done this, this will look great, guys. Be worth your time watching this because one day it'll look like a beautiful, beautiful set of armor. So another five, and I think I'm going to be able to fit another five just above it. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. And now, just need to put the mannequins on. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then we'll put some mannequins on this side as well. Maybe we could put some decoration in the middle. Two. Oh, I keep messing this up. Three. Yeah, there we go. Three. Four. And I don't think five is going to... No, five did fit in. Perfect. Even though it was a little bit on the edge, maybe I'm on it. Should I change that? Can move them across one more, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to move them all across one more. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll destroy that. Then uh, one, two, that. All right, I destroyed the wrong one. <laughs> Even though I was counting in, I still destroyed the wrong one somehow. I don't know how I've managed to do that. So says one, two, three, four. Boom. And that has worked greatly. I, I remember actually planning that out and actually doing it precisely. So I know there was enough. It's just I might put them facing this way now as well. That looks super, super edgy, guys. That looks great. Awesome. I like doing something a bit different to other people, you see. I don't think anyone's really done something like this. Where they've had, uh, this is going to be all the easy mode armors. This is going to be the uh, misc armors, you know, like uh, buckets and stuff like that. This is going to be uh, hard mode armors. And it doesn't have to be all the variations of them either. It'll just be like the separate ones. And then if I can fit the variations in, I'll probably fit those in as well sometime. But 
I think that looks pretty good now. And I'm just, I'm still stoked about getting that fire flower. And I'm not using flame wings. It's because the Duke Fisher wings are better. So that's why I'm using those instead. But definitely, I'm very, very impressed with that. I still need to do a crimson building. I did actually say I was going to do one soon. So hopefully I can do that soon. Did I put them in the last, yep, the last chest, that's it. So let's uh, put these with those. Keep some sort of algorithm going on here. I don't want to don't mess this one up as well. There we go. Uh, we'll trash that. And we should be okay to get the next quest now. Unless the other quest is still on. Which would suck. Let's go check him. Talk to our angler. See if the next quest is on. And then we will pow, pow, pow. Get some fish. Eat them for dinner. No, we'll give them to the angler. Because we're nice like that. We won't eat the fish for dinner. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, he still wants the piece of hunger. So what we'll do is before we... Go do his quest. We'll go and uh, see if there's any Planteras today. Because I've been searching for Planteras for ages. And I've managed to kill so many. But it's got so little. I've not, not got really far with it. I've killed over 200 Planteras easily. I've got all the uh, keys somewhere. I've got 60 on me. And uh, that's been full about three or four times. So maybe I've killed three or four hundred. And I've not got a single axe. Not a single axe. The axe rate for me is such, such a low drop. And it sucks. It really does. Okay, so I turned all this into, like, normal biome. Because I think it, it just it was just better. There we go. I've got a first Plantera spawner already. That is beautiful without even looking on the map. Beautiful. Absolutely be a beautiful. Come on. Where is that Plantera spawning then? Where are ye? There ye are. I'm coming for you, laddie. I'm coming to kill you. Why am I using that when I could use the flare on? He's going to be dead in no time. Let's do the countdown, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. He should be dead, but for some reason he's not dead. It's like they've got stronger or something. What? That is a lot stronger than I remembered it. There we go. Boom. And we didn't get a... No. I just really want the axe. You don't realize, guys, how badly... How badly I actually want the axe. I want it so badly. I would literally do anything for it. Like anything in the world for this axe. And I don't want to give it to me. Because in this these Let's Plays, I do them fully legit. I don't go on my own characters on my Xbox 360 and transfer stuff up for myself. The only stuff I transferred up are my two of my giveaway characters. And I just give those out. I don't personally use them. Because I don't see the benefit in learning anything about the game. If you're just going to get everything given to you, that's my personal opinion. Even though I do giveaways and that's quite hypocritical, it's my personal thought on it. And if you're just going to get everything given you in the game, pretty much there's no point in playing it unless you... Uh, a lot of 90% of the people do start again, though, so it's understandable. They just want to experience what it's like to have really strong stuff. Okay, second Plantera. Let's go. Bing, bada, boom, where are you? Boom, boom, bada, boom, boom, boom. I don't even know what that word was. Foom, foom, foom is not a word. <laughs> I don't know. I'll look in the dictionary. Maybe it's some rare. Oh, I'm spawning him, which I didn't mean to. For just stand in one place and then just uh, move over here. Instead of going crazy like last time. Because I think I moved too much last time. And I did a lot less damage. But you can see the flare on does so much damage to this thing. And anyone who is just hitting hard mode, don't try and fight the Plantera early. The Plantera is one of your deadliest enemies. Uh, if you kill a boss and then get a Plantera spawner, save it until you have good stuff, honestly. Or until you've made a good arena. You can look at Happy Days. Happy Days makes amazing arenas, honestly. He has some awesome arenas for you guys to uh, copy. Nah, okay then. We've got the uh, Grenade Launcher. No, not the Grenade Launcher. The um, Venus Magnum, sorry. Venus Magnum isn't going to be any good, though. We're not looking for a Venus Magnum. We've already got 74 of those. So what we're looking for is really, really light pink patches. I, I can find them quite easily, like really easily. It's just, I think there's one down. I think this is one just below us. But it might just be, sometimes it's a little troll because they, they, there's these plants that grow and they look so much like them. But I believe there is one just down here. No, there wasn't. No, it's just one of the little troll plants. Yep, just one of the little troll plants. 
Okay, if we look down there. Yeah, there's, I think there's definitely one down here, though. So let's go check that quickly. And hopefully we can get ourselves the axe. I mean, I don't even understand how many episodes I've gone through to try and get this axe. And I don't even know what I need it for, to be honest. There's actually no point in having it now. I'm so far progressed in the game that the axe is pretty pointless to me. But, you know, I just want it. It's just one of those things where you set out to get it and you just want to get it. And you'll do anything in your power to get that. Like, anything at all. There's one over here. I can see it. If you look, guys, look, 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 I'll show you. So, can you see just where that mob is flashing next to the water? It's got a red patch. Just next to that red patch, you'll see a really, really light pink thing. And I'm just um above it. But, yeah. Do you see what I mean? It's right there, right? So, it's right there. Look on the map. Look on the map again. And we are... Wait, where are we? <laughs> there we are. So, if you just look the left of me, you'll see the red patch. Then you'll see a really, really pink uh, thing. And that sticks out. And to me now, I can notice those so, so easily. Uh, those people who use lower quality TVs, I don't mean like lower quality, but you'll use a lower light. So say if you're playing COD and uh, you, you use a high, high res or low res or whatever. Don't know what the actual name of it is, but you know the contrast quality. If you use a high contrast or a low con contrast, you might not gather that. So uh, see your contrast at the right contrast and see if that helps. But it really does help me when I look at the map and see that because, be, well, because I wouldn't find plant areas without it. I was finding no plant areas before, and now I could just find them in a matter of seconds by looking at the map. Really easy, really simple, and I might do a video on it soon, and uh, how to efficiently find plant areas or something like that. We've almost killed him already. This, is, this has got to be our fastest kill today. Going to close my eyes and just hope for this. I'm closing my eyes now. Got my eyes closed, guys. I don't know what I got. Gonna open them. Three, two, one, and oh. Well, that let me down. <laughs> I honestly thought I might get the axe there. Nah. No. Oh well. Not all at lost though. We we've had fun killing them. It's all about the fun killing them, to be honest. That, that's 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 what I feel like this is about. When you're killing Planteras and you're far in the game. It's more just fun. And I did actually almost die. You know, even even though you've got all this hardcore stuff and you're really, really strong, there's still a chance you will die against the Plantera. Plantera is still a hard boss, even in hard mode. So never underestimate a Plantera. Never, never underestimate. Oh, we've got to have a truffle worm there. Should we try and catch him? We... He flew off, didn't he? Yep. Oh, no. We just have a little truffle worm flying around. Unluckily for us, we didn't have our little uh, bug now, did we? Before I could even get it out, it was whooshing on. I think I do have 15 somewhere anyway, so it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, if I do need them, I'll always come back to those ones. I mean, let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick scout across the world. See if we can find any plant terrors. believe there is one there. But then again, it might be the troll. Like I say, there's a lot of the, the troll you, and you just, you go to look at it, and it's like, nope, that's not a planter. <laughs> and, and it confuses you so, so much. All right, it should be daytime now, so I'm going to head back home. Hopefully it's daytime, and hopefully we've got a new quest off the angler. Let's go talk to him. Where is Bob the angler? Notice that it's not Bob really, but... On, where is he? Where's he gone? Hang on a minute. He wasn't down there. There's no way he was just down there. Am I that blind? There's a rumor going around that there's islands that float in the sky. Do you remember that, that song, guys? Uh, Tell me why. I see castles floating in the sky. Oh, tell me why. <laughs> oh, no. I've got to stop singing. Only 90s kids will remember that. No, I don't know. That's an old song, though. That's like 2000s. So if you was born in the 2000s, you might not remember that song. But, you know, it's a very, very, very well-known. 
song, so you might just know it. You, there might be a chance, a nice, uh, quick chance that you might know it. A quick chance, a little chance that you might know it, sorry. But yeah, I do have a uh, safe up here, so I'm alright for putting my fish in there if I do find more than one of them. If I happen to find more than one of them. Right, we need to put on all of our fishing potions and stuff. I'm going to speed this part up, guys. So I will speak to you very soon. So I think I'm going to give up with this place because literally all it's giving me is bass. I think I need to make that a wider area or something. Maybe I can steal some water from down here and put it up at the top. I don't really know, but the angler will have another quest shortly. So I think I'm going to wait for that one and then do that one. But I'm going to show you some more pixel art now. If you have missed any of the other episodes, there was a muffin pixel art at one time. But it did just disappear. I don't know how it happened. But I do have a creeper, Sonic the Hedgehog, a Mario Mushroom. We have Kirby, Pikachu. Mario, Sans, and Piparus. however you say it, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce it, and over here we have a Batman vs Superman one, uh, not very good one, but I wanted to do like a cartoony version, and then a cartoony Superman as well, and then we have the um, the winner above it, which I think is the winner above it, I, I like Batman more than Superman, my personal opinion, maybe you guys will think differently, but yeah, my personal opinion, I love Batman, and yeah, pretty much, that's why, so what we're going to do, is we're going to grab all this water, once we've got all this water, because I don't use this part of water anyway, this water's just useless. So what I'm going to do is teleport back home. And then I go up here. Hopefully we can make a bigger biome. I know the quest is probably going to be changed now. Hopefully it's one where I've got already got the quest fish, because that would be very nice. We can do that. It'd be awesome if we can do that and uh, get the next quest, because we're so close to getting the gold and hotline fishing rods. I've done loads of quests now. Like, literally, I've done so many, it's just crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Uh, make it a little bit bigger. Mud blocks should be fine to use. We go. I think that's uh, the sort of comfort so that is big enough. And now, what all we need to do is place the water in. Let's go. And if you notice, it's actually going on both sides. So when I pour it, it's actually going left and right. So I'm actually generating more and more water as I do it. So now of that, I've also auto-generated so much more water. It's a weird, weird thing you can do just by placing that on the, the corner of something. I've generated like, what, 20-odd more buckets of water by doing that? Wow. I think that'll be much, much better now. now oh, no, that's the empty one. <laughs> so I don't want to do with it. Right, so now let's just do it with these. I'm just going to slowly let it uh, ease in because there's only 20 of them. 
I mean, I'll do it faster if I do almost fill it up. But if you see, both sides are filling up. And both sides are getting a bit, bit of water each time. So they're both generating a block. And that makes it a bigger circumference. And a bigger area of... Bigger diameter, whatever you want to call it. And I've got another, what, what, 15 more here? I think. Another 14 more. Pretty much 15. So I can go fill those back up again. But I think now... Uh, let's just try fishing that. Just try and fishing that to see if it's any better. I think it'll be a lot better now. Because that's at least 100 blocks. Still get tin cans. Why do I still get tin cans? Is it not wide enough or something? Maybe I can go get uh, one more set of water. Once I've got one more set of water, what I'll do is I'll make it a little bit wider. And once i made it a little bit wider, I think that'll make it a legit biome. Well, not a legit biome, but you know what I mean. Enough to fish in. But tin cans and shoes, that you only get them when the uh, area is not big enough. So, I can only imagine that the area isn't big enough. So, let's just pick all this up. Bang, bang, bang. There we go. Lovely. And I can swear that sometimes when you're picking up water and you pick it up in faster things, that it doesn't pick the water up from the block. And it just picks it up from nothing. So, you, you get free water, basically. I wish it happened like that in real life. When you when you place a block of water, more water just spawns. Imagine how that would help out third uh, world countries and stuff. Well, that'd just be so awesome. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mine this. Uh, join a harpy feather. Oh, wow. That means we have harpy wings as well. Oh, no. Today's just been amazing. It really has. It really has been good. Not only have we, uh, not only have we managed to get the fire f uh, feather, but we've managed to get the harpy wings as well. So we're going to double fill it up here. There we go. Look at that. That is filling up quite fast. Look at that. Just going to do it slowly. All pour in nice and smoothly. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll get rid of this block after. See, see how much is filling up? Each time I do it, it looks like it's filling up a whole layer. Each two I do. Just look how much water's in there. Surely that is enough water to fish in. I would definitely say that is more than enough water to fish in, in my personal opinion. And if it needs more, I'm just going to be shocked. I'm going to be well and truly shocked because you don't need more than 100 blocks, I'm sure. When you've got 100 blocks, I'm pretty sure that's the amount you can fish in. So if this isn't good enough, I really don't know what is. So I've got a bass. What else am I going to get? Nothing because you don't want to give me anything. Seaweed is still giving me seaweed. Can you please tell me, guys, what I can do to improve this? How can I improve it? There's no way that I can imagine to improve that. I believe it's big enough. Maybe it's the, um... No, it can't be. Hmm. I'm just thinking maybe it's the actual bait that I'm using. Because I'm only using a 15% bait power, so that's maybe why it's giving me seaweed. No clue. But I've got quest fish from there before. I just don't know why it stopped working. I mean, I only modified it a little bit before and it worked fine. And then all of a sudden it just stopped working. So I don't know if it needs a bigger area or something. Just tell me down in the comments below. It'd be a really big help to me. And uh, yeah, you'll just get you'll get a shout on the shout out wall if you do suggest that. And whoa, <laughs> all the skulls are still flying. Let's see what quest he needs now then. Oh. He still needs that. I wouldn't have imagined he still needed that. I'm pretty sure it's been a day and night time. Uh, all the time we've been doing that. Okay, let's do one more trip. If I did it once more. But once I filled this one up, that is it. That's the last trip I'm doing for water. Because you're just watching me fill up buckets and put them in, <laughs> put them in water. That ain't the funniest thing to watch, is it? <laughs> it's just crazy how much water it actually needs to be a legit, fully, fully biome. Like, when I'm taking all this, I could swear it's not taking a block every time. So that's another 44, and that'll be 122 blocks that are manually... Wait, 44, 40, that's 88, uh, 120, 126 blocks? My math is off. I think it's 126 blocks that I've manually placed, and there was already 100 odd there. So, yeah, I don't know why it's not a good enough biome to catch stuff. Just going to place these in, because I can't be bothered to do the little glitch thing. A Mitra has landed. Wow. We haven't had one of those for a while. Right, that, that's definitely got to be big enough. Now, just look how big that is. Surely. Don't tell me I'm going to get... If I get seaweed or an old shoe, I'm probably going to throw my Xbox at Jack. 
Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a, a fishing potion and a sonar potion and see if that improves my uh, stats. I don't really care about the chest potion at the minute. Get rid of the day bloom. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of those. Yeah, get rid of those. We'll get rid of that and that because we're not going to use them. Clemente, we can keep. Uh, we keep that. Yeah, keep everything else. I know you're going to call me crazy for trashing some of those things, but I really, really, really don't need them. So come on. Bass, come on. Give me the fish that I'm looking for. We've got a bass. Okay. Bass again. Boom. We're bossing the basses. Come on. We need to get something better, though. We don't want a bass. We don't want crates. We want the fish that comes from the sky. Come on. There it is. The cloudfish. We have got the cloudfish. Now let's throw it on the floor and get some more before daytime. <laughs> let's do this. At least it's big enough now, and I know this is going to be big enough for the future. I'll stay here for two more minutes, because I think it's going to be daytime soon. And I don't want to miss my chance to hand this one in, because this is another quest where we can hand in easily. Get the, um, whatever he's going to give us for it. Hopefully it gives us a golden fishing rod or a hotline one, because we've done a lot of quests now. We still haven't got the hotline or golden fishing rod. We've done more than 20 quests easily, so I think the hotline one's available, but I don't know about the golden one, because I think that's 40 or 50 quests. So I've got a lot more to do to get the golden one. But maybe the, um, like I say, the gold, uh, hollow one is in, there we go, there's another one. I'm going to get two more if I can, but I don't want to get too greedy because I don't want it to turn daytime. Maybe I'll just get one more then because I don't want to be too greedy. Am I being too greedy? I think, I think I've just been a little bit too greedy here. But you know, I'll keep going, I'll keep going. Alright, let's, let's just destroy this really fast. Don't know why I'm using this. I could use my thingy and make it so, so much faster. But there we go. We've killed it now. Right, cool. Now let's get back to fishing quickly. Come on, it's going to be daytime soon. Quick, give me another one. Give me another one as fast as you can. Speedy, speedy, speedy. We need a speedy, speedy one here. No, we don't want a bass. Don't give us basses now. We really don't need basses. Please just give us what we want. We just need one more cloudfish and I'll be happy. Just one more. Golden crate. No, I missed it. No, oh, I don't have many golden crates. I could have got the turtle mount. No. I really wanted the turtle mount as well. Wooden crate, we'll take it. Come on. We're just going to take everything that comes to us now. If it's bass, if it's the crates, if it's whatever. Come on, let's just take it all. We're literally just going to spam the button as soon as it pops up. Three, two, one, and boom. Yes, timing's great. Three, two, one, and boom. No, okay. That, that time was a little bit off. Come on, we'll recast it. Come on. We got this. We got this. We got all this. I don't want the bass. Come on. Get something better than a bass. Come on. As fast as we can now. That wyvern's really annoying me and I really want to kill it. But no, that was a cloudfish. I've just missed out. No, that was another cloudfish. No, it's going to turn daytime. We need to kill this wyvern because it keeps annoying me. Quick. Yeah, no, dead. Quick. Give me the cloudfish. Give me the cloudfish. Quick, 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 quick. No, no, not bass. Come on. We've got, we've got a minute left. Come on. We've got a minute left of our sonar potion. Come on, please. Please. Cool, quick. Before the quest finishes. We need it. Come on. Come on. I beg. I beg. Just give me a cloudfish now. Please. Please just give me one. Please. No, not a bass. We don't want a bass. Please just stop giving us all this rubbish. No. No, it's going to turn daytime. It's going to turn daytime. Any minute it's going to turn daytime. Cloudfish. Boom. We've done. Now, let's get this uh, quest handed in. Boom. Uh, let's take out the trash. Boom. Let's place it into our piggy bank quick. Let's go, 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 go. Uh, safe, sorry, not piggy bank. Right. We need to be as fast as we can. We need to be speedy. We need to get down here. Talk to our angler. Come on. Could have just used my magic mirror and got home, but I don't know why I didn't do that. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, come on. Come on. We got it. We got it. Yes. Boom. No. Are you kidding me? He must have literally just changed that. <gasps> no, he changed that at 4.30. I'm, I'm sure he does. Well, at least we've got three cloudfish now. And it, it, the next one is actually the wyvern one. So we're actually in the same place. So we might as well go for it. And I'm going to speed this one up. So I will see you soon, guys. And hopefully we can catch a couple of these fish. So I'll see you soon. <laughs>
So we actually got so many wyvern tails that we ran out of bait. Legit, we ran out of bait. Wow. I managed to get how many? Seven, was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. We've got seven wyvern tails. So we're all stocked upon those if he needs those quests. And that'll be very, very helpful. If he does ever need those quests, we've also got um, Cloudfish and Corruptfish as well. So they're going to be two that are going to be amazing as well. And we need to go talk to the angler now, see what it gives us. Let's take a look what he's going to give us as our reward. Hopefully it gives us a lot of bait. Hey, give us a bit of apprentice bait. Wow, ah, you did it. Still in one piece though. How boring. Wow. I swear every episode he wants us to die. He did only give us apprentice bait, which one. Don't know if he can make bait, but I can use my butterflies and stuff like that. So that's actually quite good. We're going to open up all these chests. We've got, also got some up here. So we're going to open up all those up. And then that is going to be... The end of the episode, guys. So thank you so much for joining me today. It means a lot for you to watch these videos. And if you have enjoyed, remember to leave that like. Because it does help me out. And I appreciate all the support you guys give me. And it's just amazing. Now, where did I put those chests? I can't remember. Thought it was down here. No, was it here? Yeah, okay. Cool. I don't know if we have anything good to get out of these. Because we've already got a mini Minotaur. We might be able to get bait out of them, I'm not too sure. Okay, we've got potions, adamantite bars. We can use wooden crates as well. We're going to get heart, heart rate or a calcum. Okay, gold coins. We've got an anchor, mithril bars, or a calcum ores. Let's go to sell some of this stuff because we're not going to use any of it. Okay, so we can sell that. Uh, let's just uh, double check that we're not going to sell anything that we need. Okay, cool. So we'll sell those. Uh, oh, those? Two gold. Wow, fishing is really pays off, doesn't it? If you really need money in uh, pretty hard mode or whatever, fishing pays off. Really, just just bass. Bass gets you so much money. So we've got one sonar potion left. We can sell all these because we're not going to use them. We can sell these, these. We can sell that. We need the bait. We've got four bait now, so that's going to be very very helpful. We can sell those. Yeah, we can sell the stars. Okay, one more. Two more. Oh, we got some journeyman bait as well. That was actually quite a good pull right there. We've got German and bait. Journeyman bait. Uh, some paladin more. Some other cool stuff. So the journeyman bait is going to be helpful. If I ever get more crates, I know where to get my... Uh, I know where to get these from now. The baits. So there we go. We're going to put a bait over here as well. We've also got a giant harpy feather. So we could make some harpy wings. But am I going to make some... Yeah, let, let's just get 20 of these then. There we go, and then we can go up to our uh, Oracalcum. We can go up to our Mithril Anvil, go over to the where the wings are, and make ourselves a pair of Harpy Wings. So today we have got ourselves two pairs of really, really, really cool wings. I'm just going to put them in here for now. Like I said, I'm going to, uh, next episode probably, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to build a massive room, where, which is just going to be full of chests. So maybe I can use some chests that I've got multiple of. Don't know where I've got them, but I will have some somewhere. And I think I've got every single chest, uh, wings now. I've got butterfly wings, I've got bone wings, I've got flame wings, I've got frozen wings, I've got bat wings, bee wings, I've got tatafera wings, spooky wings, I've got ghost wings. I think I've got ghost wings. I believe I've got ghost wings. I have, haven't got the hoverboard, but that's easy to make. I don't think I've got the sparkly wings yet. Um, and... Yeah, pretty much have all the others. So our wing collection is coming across, uh, nice. We could make all the robes to make a robe collection as well. Maybe have those all scattered out across the world. Um, not not scattered out, but maybe we can make like a mage tower or something. That'd be a really cool idea, actually, to make a mage tower. I think that's quite a good idea. So today's episode has been really fun. Thank you for joining me. Please do not forget to subscribe. Stay frosty and peace.